I've just been figuring out what I needed to do before I need, before I started this video because there was something that I needed to do and I just kept forgetting and it was to try and sort out this flappy microphone. It's been so long I've forgotten how to talk to a camera. I, my, my default tone is to just start shouting. <laughs> I've got a few things I need to do this morning. Serious note, um, let me just screw this in. So I recently replaced my tandem pump in the Audi because after like a lot of researching, it was suggesting that my tandem pump was leaking or the gasket had blown and that could be causing some running issues and boost issues and all of this stuff. What I knew for a fact was that there was oil in my fuel filter. So I obviously needed to get it fixed. Let me find my wallet. It's just a meme at this point, I swear to God. And you ready for it to start perfectly now? There we go. So as you can tell, that didn't fix my starting problem. <laughs> but I think it's just a flat battery or a damaged battery because there's a lot of water that drains down where the battery sits, but the drain is blocked. So I think I need to take the battery out, clear that drain, and just replace the battery. But it's been going like this for well over a year now, so I kind of just can't be arsed. I've just got used to it. I will one day do it, just not today. If you've just come to this video just to see how to replace the tandem pump because yours is broken or yours is leaking, um, skip to this part of the video. There's been kind of like a dramatic fold of events with this car because as you saw, I have a thermostat box which isn't actually a thermostat uh, which I'm now returning to GSF because it's the wrong size to get to one of the bolts on the tandem pump you have to so I could try and continue my story to undo one of the bolts on the tandem pump you have to take off a coolant housing and because when I took mine off that was the original one it just it had fallen apart over the years and I had to buy a new one uh, so I bought one online It was a different fit. So I went to GSF. It was a different fit and then I just decided to buy OEM genuine part So it's one of these things And the top bit where the temperature sensor sits is too shallow So you have to buy a genuine one otherwise it's just not gonna fit That was a complete waste of time. We all just stopped for no reason. <laughs> Fucking spinning. And yeah, so I'm on my way to GSF. Then I need to go to Halfords because I need to pick up a rivet gun and some like door card remover things. I just need some for life now because that's what I'm doing in my job. That's part of my job now. And I need the tools to learn it, you know? Yeah, then we're gonna go Halfords because I need to pick up that stuff because I'm gonna be replacing Lucy's speakers that I bought her literally like a year ago. And I just haven't got around to it yet. <laughs> just don't know, man. It's this car, it's like, it's got the power, but it hasn't got the noise. It's just a dead noise. I don't know. How anyone can hear a diesel and think, oh my God, that sounds sick. Fair enough if it's like a V8 diesel or eight cylinder diesel or something. Even with the, the cool little pigeon noises that they can make, like this one does it. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to hear it. It's not really that loud from the inside. You can't really hear it. I'll have to go under a tunnel or something. I just don't like it. I miss my Corrado. I really miss that. And I've got so much I need to talk about. And it's just... I'll tell you what we're going to do. Just so the title of the video and the thumbnail isn't like a clickbaity. We are going to go ahead. I'm going to go back in time now. I'm going to fix the tandem pump. I'm going to replace the tandem pump. 
and then we'll come back to now and we'll continue chatting if that's what you guys want to hear and that's what you're interested in so yeah i stick around because there's there's quite a bit i want to talk about and we're just going to go on a drive after to see how the car is you better still be here when you get back because i've missed you guys this is what it is this is the tandem bomb this is brand new from dark side developments it's leaking Okay, it must be like primed with oil already or something. Um, yeah, this is the tandem pump. This is brand new from Dark Side Developments. One of these will cost you around £300, brand new. This one is actually a Bosch model. So anyway, I've never changed one of these in my life and I can't find a tutorial anywhere online. Probably because it's actually really simple to swap over. It's where if you're actually opening it up from all those bolts, getting inside it and replacing all the gaskets inside that's when it gets a bit more tedious but this has only got the three bolts and then the three pipes so it might get a little bit messy but hopefully it's not actually hard to do to locate this turn and pump you first want to take the engine cover off see where the front of the intake manifold is and it should be just to the right of that there's a bolt right at the bottom which looks like it's going to be quite difficult to get off because there's a coolant pipe right in the way so i really hope not but we might have to take that coolant pipe out To get to this third and final bolt to take this tandem pump out, I had to loosen the coolant flange from behind the engine, which is the same one that this pipe links to, to be able to actually get in with a bolt to loosen it because it's otherwise you just can't get to it. As I was undoing the bolt, one of the coolant flange bolts fell down into the engine bay and I've been searching for half an hour and I can't find it. I'm gonna have to pray that when I get this pump off, I can then actually see it. So this is going to plan. Like it's three o'clock. I've got probably 45 minutes left of daylight and that's not going to be done. This isn't going to be done. Ah, I can already smell the fuel. Now to get these last two remaining pipes off now that it's kind of flexible. All right, here it is. This is the tandem pump, the failed one. This didn't show up with any codes to let me know that it's failed, but it's either the gasket that's gone or the insides of the pump is actually damaged. Because in your fuel filter, which is this, it's got oil in it. And that is a clear sign that this is failing. Now, let me just try and see if I can get behind this. Very difficult to see, but the gasket is in there so we now got to pry that off uh, clean up the surfaces and then replace the gasket if you are interested in doing this might as well throw it in now if you buy this from the dark side developments website and you put in this code you can get free shipping it saves like nine pound for next day shipping so i think it's definitely worth it and thank you to these guys for actually providing the parts so that i can actually fix my car the gasket's on make sure it's seated nicely all around this bit make sure it's actually pushed all the way down as well we should be good to put it back on just a little note as well this thing spins so you got to line it up the way that you took it off i managed to find a replacement bolt for the one that i dropped let's just hope that works it's the same size it seems to fit nice and snug last thing to do everything you probably actually can't see anything because it's really dark now but yeah there's the two poses on the right and then the one on the top so we're just going to connect them back up plug this sensor back in and then see if there's anything else that I've forgotten about and see if it then starts I believe everything is done back up poses are tight coolant is refilled and now I think we just got to prime the engine a few times so that the fuel gets back into the pump and then we'll see what happens. Whilst you're here, 
checking that the car starts, make sure you press the brake pedal a few times because that's what the other half of the pump does. It does the fuel and it does the vacuum for the brake servo. So make sure your brakes are actually working. So now you know how to replace a tandem pump. How does the car feel now? Okay, so one of the first things I actually noticed is that the brake pedal and the clutch pedal felt a lot sharper because the tandem pump works with the vacuum like for the brake servo which kind of works with the clutch as well oh my god there's loads of police cars all about that's not gonna look weird at all and i've just got a fat camera up uh, it's getting into gears a lot easier now as well i used to struggle getting into like first and second gear but now it goes in cleanly. Uh, acceleration. It's, it didn't really make the changes I thought it would. Sorry, this road's really bumpy. I don't know, it's a bit smoother. Do a little pull now. Yeah, like sometimes it just feels really good and other times it doesn't. It's still doing the hesitation thing. So it's got to be the map or the um, injectors. I think it's the injectors, but I have absolutely no idea how to replace injectors on these cars because I don't know if it's like common rail or if it's PD. I think PD is, the injectors are built into the engine and common rail is probably what it says on the tin but I don't know what common rail actually means so I'm not even going to try and explain it. I should know these things after owning this car for like nearly two years. Mm, Raceland coilovers. No that's a, that was just a joke. That was, that was mean. They're actually really good. These bumps are just shit. I've had my coilovers on now for like two years and they are good. They feel like standard suspension quality. These bumps are terrible in Feltham. What are you doing, Feltham? Oh. Picked up riveter and pry bar set. So nothing, nothing fun, but it's gonna make the job a lot easier. It's too bad. I can't even remember what I was going to say. What was I going to say before I started going shopping? Yeah, I think the car just needs a new battery to sort out the starting issue. I'm going to get the injectors looked at. This is what the deviation is like in all four injectors. No idea at all if that is normal. I think the idea is that the positives are supposed to balance out the negatives. So it should all be equal. They all they all just seem all over the place. How are you supposed to understand what any of this means? And if I rev it. I don't know, it's it's just difficult trying to diagnose that stuff. You don't actually know what you're looking for. So yeah, um I'll give you guys a little update as well, I guess, because it's been a while. New job's going really good. I'm enjoying it. I'm learning a lot. I'm getting more confident in doing things. Like, rather than just kind of quickly looking online and seeing what people suggest, it's nice having someone who can actually tell me the proper way to do things. Hopefully learning to paint soon. I've had my hands on a gun just for a little bit. Paint gun, that is. And then we're also moving next month. Me and Lucy are moving in 
to our own little place. So excited for that. All the searches have gone through, so we're just waiting for like, I don't know, feedback now from the searches of the property. So we're hopefully looking to move in in around four weeks time, around a month. Oh yeah, and this is also another thing I was gonna talk to you guys about is, uh, so the Corrado, yeah, I miss it so much and because I haven't driven it, September I think, or is it November, December, basically like three months I think, I haven't driven it. I need it, man, <laughs> I miss it. And I was talking to Stealth Racing because it needs its timing chains replaced. So I asked them about that. Uh, and then at the same time I asked them about a turbo installation. Like literally you give them the car, they do everything. I told them a figure I wanted and they they gave me a quote. So for anyone curious who has a VR6, even though this like is nothing to do with a VR6 video, if you're by chance here, to send it into Stealth Racing, they said it's around 7,000. That's literally drop it off and then pick it back. Maybe a month later and you've got a turbo <laughs> on your car. Or you can do it yourself. And I'm tempted to try and do it myself because it's just what, exhaust manifold, intercooler, um everything you need and then obviously the tuning side of things so that i figure it out one day that was a good downshift i haven't done a downshift like that in this car anyway thank you very much for watching guys if this video was at all helpful or you enjoyed it uh, let me know and I will see you in the next one.